sustainable chemistry means something incredibly important to me. It represents a holistic value chain driven approach that we can take. A lot of times when people talk about chemistry, they think about research exclusively. Whereas when I think about sustainable chemistry, I think about the design of materials, but I also think about the role in terms of the use phase and the pivotal role that sustainable chemistry can play in terms of not just designing the material, but actually looking at the full life cycle of the material. For a really long time, chemistry has tended to have a much more passive role. This is starting to change. We're starting to actually move into an era where chemists, researchers, students, and practitioners in the space are starting to recognize the role that they need to play in terms of solving our problems. Right now, um, when it comes to the crises that we're facing, sustainable chemistry has a pivotal role to play in solving environmental issues. Specifically, what I'm referring to is the number of issues that, and challenges that we're facing when it comes to the climate crises, the megatrends that we're facing. So for each one of these, when you start to actually unpack it and you understand that we need uh, much more robust housing, we need better insulated homes, we need solutions that can be able to actually address the challenges that our society is facing, we start to realize the role that sustainable chemistry has in terms of the materials that we're designing in turn. The space that we're in right now is urgent. There isn't any time that we have to actually play around with these topics. So as a consequence, it's all hands on deck. And chemists have a vital and pivotal role to play in this space, both in terms of research, design, and implementation.